Hi everybody, welcome back to Lovely Girly Bits. Stain of my hair, I know. Look at it. So what happened was I dried it upside down and then I tied it up in like a hun bun and I brought little bits down and now it's gone this way. Like look at this ultimate situation. So I've curled my hair a few times over on Snapchat and I've done massive like gorgeous like waves rather than curdles. And I'd loads of people asking me if I do video on it. So here I am. I'll go do a video. See, in the summer, I much prefer waves, not like whew, whew, curls, like so that you could do like Irish dancing. Much prefer kind of tousled waves, bit of texture, and I'm gonna show you how I do them. It's really, really quick and easy. I'm gonna use this. This is from GHT. It's part of the Wanderlust collection. It's summer, and look at it. I think it's the amber one, and um, they sent this a while ago. You do that, don't you? It's like tongs. Whenever you have something like this, you have to do that just to make sure it works. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so that's what I use for my hair. It comes with this little, Caption it sits on the top so that whenever you're finished with it, you can close it, put it like that, put it back in the heat resistant bag. Hold on, I'll show you. This is the heat resistant bag that so goes like that, and then when you zip it open, the GHD can go back in here. So, what happens is whenever I'm using it, this thing is off, it's so awkward, and I leave this open like this. And so, whenever I'm kind of going between sections, I can put it in here because it's heat resistant. Grand, love it. Now, I'm going to show you how I curl my hair. I've been my hand. Look. Anyway, let's do a few waves. <laughs> oh yeah, I should plug it in, shouldn't I? Yeah, that'd be great. It has a nice long cord, so that's handy. And then it has a little, just a switch, and that's all it has. It doesn't have like a temperature gauge or anything like that. So leave that sat in the bag while I kind of section off my hair. I just section it in four sections, and just brush it first. That's like my general parting. So I'll split my hair down the middle, at the back, and then each section I'll split into two. And because I've no hair clip things, because they're lost in space, I just do that. <laughs> oh, that's very beautiful. So I always start with the back first. You could do however you want, it doesn't matter to me. So whenever I'm starting each section, I will start at the bottom, at the back. So whenever I finish with the curl, I can flick it away. So it won't get in the way. Do you know what I mean? Like if I wanted to have proper ringlety curls, I would have the straightener go perpendicular to the hair, so I'm not gonna put it over the hair. So I would go like that and kind of let the curls go this way. Do you get me? But because I want waves, I'm going to have it on a slant. So when I clamp the hair, I will have it on a, like a diagonal and I'll bring the curl down that way. Not like that. I, actually, you know what, I'll show you. So this is what you would do if you wanted a proper curl. So see that I have the hair is like straight all the way down. It's like even all the way down. So this is for like ringlety curls. And then I'm going to do this one on the angle. So I just clamp it and then I pull down. See? Hold on, let me put the thing away. So there are the two curls. That one is the curly curl and then that one is the wavy curl. See the way they're different? These are the ones that I want because I look like I'm about 12 with that one on, so I'm going to just redo that part. So rather than going out, I slide it down. Also, that's better. Also, I did not invent this technique. Katrina Kelly from K2 Hair, I'll put her Snapchat code below. She showed us how to do this, showed us, showed everybody how to do this over on Snapchat a while ago. I think it was like last year. And it is the easiest way to get waves. Oh. Mind my ball. Let's try and see what I'm doing. I have a mirror over there. So either way, you're going down. Slide, 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 slide. And then when I got my hair cut there a while ago, um, Christian from Brown Sugar, he did the same thing. So I was like, killed watching him like in the mirror, you know, though you do that. I was like, ah, he's doing the angle thing as well. So just clamp up here, twist it around, and then down. So I'm bringing it down, I'm not bringing it out. And you just effort like really effortless, listless waves. So now I'm gonna do this section and I'll be back. Okay, I'm gonna, oh, that's beautiful. <laughs> Should I get? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna do the bottom part and then I'll be back. <laughs> so all of the back is done now. So I'm just gonna flick that behind me and I'm just gonna use a little clip just to keep it away. So when I do this section, that it won't um, get all messed up. So again, I start from the back so I can flick it away. 
and I do a mix, I don't know if I was saying earlier, I do a mix of having the curls towards my face and away from my face just because. But you could do whatever you want. And that. And then I twist it. And then pull it down. I don't pull it out. See, and that's just like a really nice, effortless, long wave. Just have to get a cut up in the hair that has been uncurled. Okay, flick. This is the last bit, but I'll split it into two. I know I keep saying that, but it's great. I'll just do this last little section. And the slower you go through your hair, the tighter the curl. But I just want it to be like, juji. That's it, I think. Let me check. That's it. So what I like to do is let the curls cool, it lets them set a little bit, and then I start judging. Katrina always said to like judge from underneath. I do forget to do that sometimes, Katrina. So you can leave them like that so that they're nice, kind of soft, loose curls. What I like to do is use this. That. It's the, what is it called? Wave spray from the way. And it's lovely. So I like to, oh my God, this is so awkward. Just spray the ends and it separates the curls a little bit. Hold on, I'm trying not to like not sucked in. So I like that. I like when the curls are all kind of stringy. So you can leave it like that if you want. Or what I like to do is just put more in. So I like to put this in my hair. This is a texturizing spray, it's very expensive, but so what I like to do with this is shake, I don't even know if I have to shake it. And I'm gonna flip my hair upside down, two seconds. So this is the before. Now hold on, let me just do this. I do it. And then I go. And then, <coughs> and then you charge. And then. Fuller. Oh my god. I just love that spray so much. Oh sorry, I'm forgetting to show it from underneath. But yes, that is curly, wavy, summery hair. It's just nice and effortless and it's texturized -y and I love it. Thank you very much. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it helped you. And if you use this technique, let me know and um, let's just enjoy our wavy hair together. Just makes me happy. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.